Hello everyone, welcome to Nature's Power. I started this channel out of a passion for natural disasters, animal attacks, and just a, a general love and fascination for the outdoors and the wild. This is going to be one of many different videos. We're going to start out with a series based on bear attack stories, and then we're going to move on from there. So the incident occurred on Saturday in Cody, Wyoming, when two men encountered a bear at close range while they were on heavy cover searching for antler sheds west of the Bobcat Houlihan Trailhead on the Shoshone National Forest. One of the victims, Kendall Cummings, said he jumped on the bear's back and yanked hard on its ears to try and get it off of his friend. I don't know about you guys, but that right there, I don't know if I could do that. I guess if the adrenaline was pumping in my body, you know, maybe, maybe I'd be able to do that. What do you guys think? The other, the other victim, the one that was being attacked, he said he could hear when the bear's teeth hit his skull. He could feel when it would bite down on his bones and kind of make a crunching sound. The two men were somehow able to break free from the attack and call 911, which elicited an immediate response from both Park County Search and Rescue and personnel from the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. With the assistance of a hunter in the area, a local resident and other members of the party, the two men were able to reach the trailhead where they met search and rescue and were transported from the area. One of the victims was flown by helicopter to a local hospital while the other was taken by an ambulance. Both men, wrestling teammates at Northwest College in Powell, Wyoming, reportedly underwent multiple surgeries after sustaining major lacerations to the body and face. Lowry has a broken arm from the event where the bear bit down on his arm and the clamping force of the jaw just broke right through his bones. Like with most other bear attacks, an investigation into the attack is ongoing and authorities say it just appears to be a sudden surprise encounter with a grizzly bear. As most of you guys know from a lot of the other stories you've heard, that's usually how it goes. You're not expecting it, you're not prepared, a grizzly bear gets irritated, it's hungry, or it just it's protecting its cubs. You know, one of those situations where any other day of the week the bear may have not been hungry. It, it may not have been a time of year when the bears have cubs and the, the guys could have been fine. They could have saw the bear, it could have gone on its way, but not this time. So after the attack, the officials did say there's been an abundance of bear activity at low elevations throughout the region for the past few weeks and urged people to use a lot of caution in the area where the attack took place. You guys can see some of the photos here. The, the guys are in the hospital, they're doing okay, they're recovering. Um, they're being visited by their friends and family. In the vicinity where the attack occurred, reports from landowners and hunters indicate there may be six to ten different bears moving between agricultural fields and low elevation slopes. Game and Fish will continue to monitor the bear activity in the area and work with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to make management decisions in the best interest of the public safety and of course of the bears. It's a sad and unfortunate situation and we wish both victims a speedy recovery. I'm sure all of you do too. In an interview after the attack, Lowry said, I don't know what I'm going to do to pay him back. I just don't know, I owe him everything. Regarding Cummins' quick actions that potentially saved his life, his friend literally jumped on the bear's back to try and get it off of his friend. Man, these two guys, luckily these were strong young guys. You know, they, they had some sort of chance against, you know, a smaller bear. A large, a large enough bear, a hungry enough bear, there would have been no chance. The bear would have just shrugged off any sort of attack that, that, that the guys had on it. But there it is, guys. Just recently in the news. So be safe out there.